Un Academy. Let's crack it. Sir, uh, sir, मुझे Un Academy comeback की scholarship मिल गई. अरे वाह यार, congratulations. Eh? Sir, last time खेल रहे थे तो sixth rank थी. हाँ. Eh? अब top three में आकर scholarship जीत ली sir. बोल दिया sir, हैं? <laughs> sir, thanks to you and Un Academy. आपने guide किया था. Un Academy के lecture और आपकी classes की वजह से फूट है sir. ये gamified revision कोई है? प्रिपरेशन बिल्कुल सही हो गया होगा यस yes, सर अब बस रिवीजन और आंसर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस करता रहता हूँ वेरी गुड वेरी गुड लेकिन प्रिपरेशन को बूस्ट करते रहना ठीक है ये कॉम्बैट में पार्टिसिपेट करते रहो और अंकुर बाबू डोंट टेक चांसेस हैं Good evening. My name is Vishwadeep, and I welcome you all on an Academy Computer Science Channel for unlimited learning. Today we are going to discuss the topics CPU scheduling. In that two types of scheduling we are going to discuss HRRN, which is highest response ratio. Next and priority based algorithm. So what these algorithms are and what is difference in these algorithms apart from which we have discussed FCFS, SJF, and SR. tf so let's begin the session without any delay just because it's going to be very very interesting and really really informative session for all of you before we start let me introduce myself my name is vishwadeep goti and i'm working as a channel leader on this particular channel you can see here my profile entire profile is written here courses you can add in my courses detail operating system c programming python data science machine learning and what not if you want to learn you can learn from this channel we have lots of playlist already created for your gate preparation which are really really good in terms of content and the course organization plus if you want to interact with the educators in more interactive manner you want to share your doubts in terms of images then you can come to an academy's platform over there you will be having free sessions by every educator go to anacademy.com or download an academy learner app and access the special classes these special classes are absolutely free yes to access these special classes you can use this code vdeep10 to unlock for the very first time free content includes special classes of each educator apart from that test quizzes questions and multiple other things are included in this particular free plan of an academy's platform once explored definitely follow my profile so that you can get the notification of each and every class which i am going to conduct live plus you can listen hundreds of lectures which i have taken already on an academy special classes absolutely free if you are preparing for gate then i always try to tell you one thing is your career is a very very important part of your life and if you really want to focus on your career then you need to go for such kind of activities which are highly highly paying you highly paying means the kind of efforts you put for any kind of things it should give you the return right so return of investment should be there for every single thing if you are preparing let's say for gate and giving lots of time for self study then i will tell you that in self study lots of time you waste to get your doubt solved to get the right content to rectify that this i should not do and this i'll have to do this particular problem you can eliminate using this particular an academy plus subscription which gives you the structured and well organized and well well planned structured schedule of preparation so that you will always have your planning your preparation on the track this particular plus subscription is giving you live classes interactive classes daily practice problem doubt solving weekly test guidance of educators and multiple other things this subscription is available for 1 month 3 month 6 months and 12 18 and 24 months you can take the subscription of your 
पर्सनल फेवरेट ड्यूरेशन वाई जस्ट बिकॉज योर योर ड्यूरेशन बेस्ड और विल बी बेस्ड ऑन योर प्रिपरेशन प्लान दिस कोड इफ यू विल यूज वाइल चेक आउट यू विल बी गेटिंग टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट प्लस माई पर्सनल गाइडेंस प्लस माई टीम्स सपोर्ट बट अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू एवरी टाइम आई टेल यू दिस इज नॉट जस्ट अ सब्सक्रिप्शन डिस्काउंट कोड इट्स अ ट्रस्ट कोड इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू ट्रस्ट मी एंड माई टीम फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन गो हेड टेक द सब्सक्रिप्शन आई विल हेल्प यू इन एवरी सिंगल आस्पेक्ट ऑफ योर प्रिपरेशन दीज आर द प्राइसेस रिटर्न आफ्टर द डिस्काउंट रिमेंबर देर इज अनादर टाइप ऑफ सब्सक्रिप्शन आइकॉनिक विच हैज ऑल द फैसिलिटी ऑफ एन अकेडमी प्लस एंड हैविंग अ फैसिलिटी ऑफ पर्सनल कोच इफ यू वॉन्ट मोर पर्सनलाइज एंड कस्टमर Optimized preparation. Go for iconic plan in which you will be getting preparation strategy by a one-to-one -one coach. Then you will be getting your performance track. You will be getting extra plan of preparation that is customized to you. Doubt solving, personalized test and analysis. and study booster session extra practice sets and notes also this iconic subscription is available for 12 months and 24 months and if you use the code vdeep then you will get 10% discount plus my mentorship plus my team support A new batch starting 26th of march yesterday only so you can follow this batch and cover up all the courses use this code remember the code vdeep 10 okay so first thing first if you all are aware of my mentorship program i'm going to give you a quiz tomorrow at 9 am on an academy's platform if you haven't created the account on an academy's platform create now it's absolutely free test you are going to have tomorrow morning 9 am and the link of that particular quiz is already in the pinned up message so in your comment box it's already pinned up click on that notify me pe click kar do and tomorrow morning 9 am we will see each other on that particular quiz so that whoever will be in the winners will be having high chance to get the mentorship winner list to get into mentorship winner list okay chaliye all the homework questions i will solve in one of the session which we are going to have at the end of the topic so at the end of the topic we are going to have one particular session in which we will be discussing all the homework question solution only let's go and let's start the session but before we start the session you will have to tell me are you ready or not send a message that you are ready and let's get started okay so till now we have seen three algorithms srt sjf and fcfs in fcfs we had convoy effect in sjf we had a problem that if we will schedule a long process if it arrives first and we will schedule a long process we cannot preempt it so we have gone for srtf in srtf when we are scheduling a short process yes that works if a long process arrives first and short process arrives later then short process could preempt longer process we have seen that yesterday yes now this what is the problem in sjf first of all practical implementation is not possible in sjf and srtf both why sir see if any process comes for execution that processes burst time cannot be available with my operating system for how much duration that process will execute pata thodi hoga os ko the os will not know it in the prior so practical implementation is not possible first problem second problem is starvation starvation is are ye wo wala starvation nahi hai jisse engineers suffer karte hain bhook lagna right this is not that starvation starvation means if shorter processes are keep coming keep coming keep coming then one long process can wait for indefinite time. so starvation is nothing but indefinite waiting if shorter processes are coming 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 arriving 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 and one one longer process is waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for indefinite time then that is called as a starvation so it has happened it can happen in sjf and srtf yes 
because of that we cannot have fairness that few processes are coming and executing new arriving processes are also being executed but one process which is waiting since long not getting the not getting the cpu so no fairness fairness nahi hogi ab is fairness ko implement karne ke liye hame karna kya hoga what we will have to implement what we will have to do to implement this fairness so sjf gives priority to only those processes which are having shorter bus time but if any process is waiting for very 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 long time we are not thinking of it we are going to solve this problem in the hrrn highest रिस्पॉन्स रेशियो नेक्स्ट आपका क्वेश्चन होगा सर रिस्पॉन्स रेशियो क्या होता है अरे बाबू मैंने बताया ही नहीं अभी कुछ इसके बारे में तो तुम कैसे ही पूछ सकते हो लेट मी क्लेरिफाई एवरी सिंगल थिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड एवरी सिंगल थिंग लिस इन नाउ सो वॉट इज एच आर आर एन हार ए हाइएस्ट रिस्पॉन्स रेशियो नेक्स्ट एंड वॉट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर एल्गोरिदम दिस सेज इट फेवर्स द शॉर्ट जॉब्स बट decreases the waiting time of longer jobs also means of course it gives the preference to the smaller processes smaller means smaller burst time but if a process is there and that particular process is waiting for very long time then because of that sjf will not think of it but this hrrn will think समझ में आया बबुआ समझत का ना ही ओके इफ यू गॉट इट कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी इफ यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस वन और नॉट ओके यू विल अंडरस्टैंड फर्दर दैट हाउ इट डज बट द क्राइटेरिया हियर फॉर द शेड्यूलिंग इज रिस्पॉन्स रेशियो एंड वॉट इज रिस्पॉन्स रेशियो आई विल टेल यू if two processes are having equal response ratio then we can go here in the tie breaker for burst time whichever is having shorter burst time should be given the cpu first type what is the type of this algorithm non preemptive it is not a preemptive one non preemptive one okay great let's try to understand this response ratio response ratio for a process will be calculated by waiting time of a process plus burst time or service time divided by burst time waiting time plus service time divided by service time or burst time now look at this if if s is smaller divide by small value definitely will give me a large value here and large value is highest response ratio so that process which is having smaller burst time or service time will give me maximum response ratio but 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 if suppose there is a process which is waiting 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 and its waiting time is very large if waiting time is increasing then of course the response ratio also increases so it's like it's like it's like the response ratio is directly proportional to waiting time but response ratio oh, oh, is inversely proportional to burst time or service time so service time is less response ratio is more waiting time is more then response ratio is more are wa nimisha good nimishka great 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 good 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 okay got it chalo so let's solve a question so that we get more clarity समझेंगे तो क्लैरिटी और अच्छे से आ जाएगी दिस इज एच आर आर एन लेट्स फर्स्ट लेट्स फर्स्ट कंपेयर दिस विद नॉन प्रियमटिव वर्जन ऑफ बर्स्ट टाइम फर्स्ट शॉर्टर बर्स्ट टाइम फर्स्ट और शॉर्टेस्ट जॉब फर्स्ट नॉन प्रियमटिव शॉर्टेस्ट जॉब फर्स्ट लेट्स कंपेयर दिस हाउ वी कैन कंपेयर दिस लेट्स ड्रॉ द गेंट चार्ट लेट्स ड्रॉ द गेंट चार्ट वी विल ड्रॉ द गेंट चार्ट फॉर एस जे एफ यस वी कैन डू इट अरे हाँ बाबूआ हम बना सकता है एस जे एफ गो फॉर एट एस जे एफ ओके सो एस जे एफ एट टाइम जीरो ओनली वन प्रोसेस अवेलेबल विच प्रोसेस 
P1 and P1 takes how much time? P1 takes 3 unit of time. Gone up to 3 unit of time, any other process arrived? Only one process. Only one process. Only one process, yes, these are processes arriving later. Only one process, P2, yes, so execute P2. Take 6 time, 3 plus 6, 9. Okay, up to 9, how many other processes arrived? All remaining. Which process is having minimum burst time? P5, execute that, P5. 2 time unit, 9 plus 2, 11. After that, P3 takes 4 time unit up to 15. Then after that, P4 up to 15 plus 5, 20. SJF, simple. I think you are not having any trouble in this. But let's draw the gain chart for HRRN. What is the difference now in HRRN? Let's see. Let us see what will be the HRRN. Gain chart. Okay, let's see. So first of all, at zero time unit, what are the processes arrived? Only one process execute it p1 is there any preemption allowed no up to three execute p1 after that up to three only one process is available this one p2 execute it up to more six time unit nine at nine time what are the processes available all these are arrived now which process the process which is having maximum or highest response ratio. So I will have to calculate the response ratio. If I will have to calculate the response ratio, let's see at time 9, what is the response ratio? At time 9. What are the processes available? P3, P4, P5. Okay, so let's calculate response ratio of P3. Response ratio of P3. Let's calculate that. How to do that? P3 arrives at 4. If P3 arrives at 4 till 9, P3 got the CPU? No. What is the waiting time of P3? Till now, what is the waiting time of P3? Kitna wait kiya P3 ne? Arrive hui char pe? Abhi hua hai? No. 5. So waiting time of P3 till now is 3. Or 5. 5. 5. Plus what is the burst time? Plus 4 divided by 4. What is the response ratio? 9 divided by 4 which is 2.25. 2.25 okay Nimishka is asking why today we are not making the ready queue we can make the ready queue if you want to I have solved the question directly just because there were not many options left with us at zero time only one process was available at three time only one process available now at three time or nine time we are having three processes in ready queue yes you can draw that now Response ratio of P3 is this. Response ratio of P4 also I will have to calculate. Response ratio of P4. Let's calculate that. P4 arrives at 6. Till 9 it is waiting for 3 time unit. Plus what is the burst time? 5 divided by 5. 8 by 5. 8 by 5 is 1.3. Then next, response ratio of P5 also we will have to calculate. Yes, P5 arrives at 8 time unit. Up to 9, how much it is waiting? 1. I am calculating at 9 time. This is my current time where I will have to think that which process to execute next. Yes, so after 8, 
अप टू नाइन टाइम पी फाइव हैज वेटेड वेटिंग टाइम इज वन प्लस वॉट इज द बस टाइम टू डिवाइडेड बाय टू थ्री बाय टू वन पॉइंट फाइव नाउ विच इज द हाइएस्ट वन हाइएस्ट इज दिस वन सो विच प्रोसेस इज हैविंग हाइएस्ट रिस्पॉन्स रेशो पी थ्री सो वी विल शेड्यूल हियर नाउ पी थ्री लुक एट अबो ऊपर देखने का हमने कौन सा प्रोसेस लगाया है ऊपर आफ्टर पी टू विच प्रोसेस वी हैव एग्जीक्यूटेड अबो पी फाइव बट हियर वी आर एग्जीक्यूटिंग पी थ्री वाई वाई सर ऐसा क्यू just because p3 is waiting for very long time look at this its waiting time is 5 its waiting time is only 1 waiting time is large response ratio is more p3 will be scheduled first fairness achieved okay fairness achieved right so p3 will be scheduled what is the run time of p3 bus time 4 up to 10 now at 10 time unit i'll have to think oh, oh my mistake my mistake it should be 9 really bad it should be 9 9 plus 4 30 theek now 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 at 13 time unit we are left with two processes p4 and p5 at 13 time unit we are left with two processes which are two processes p4 and p5 let's calculate response ratio at time 13 p4 and p5 are having what response ratio okay so at time 13 at time 13 what will be the response ratio let's calculate among these two processes which to be executed that i will decide based on the response ratio so response ratio of p 4 at time 13 p4 has arrived at 6 up to 13 how much it waited 13 minus 6 7 time unit it has waited so waiting time is 7 plus its burst time 5 12 divided by 5 12 divided by 5 is 3 नहीं नहीं अरे 2.6 no 2.4 12 2.4 okay every at every at every decision point whenever i'll have to take the decision that which process i'll have to execute next my os will have to calculate the response ratio next p5 p5 arrived at 8 waiting up to 9 yes uh, waiting up to 13 how much 5 5 unit waiting plus burst time is 2 divide by 2 7 by 2 is 3.5 oh ho highest is for highest is for which one 3.5 of course 3.5 is highest so which process to be executed next p5 next p5 takes how much time 2 15 and then at the end only one process remaining p4 five time unit it takes up to 20 so what 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 we will have to do here is we will have to check out that which process is waiting for very long see p3 here why we have scheduled p3 here ahead of p5 just because p5 had a burst time less but p3 was waiting for very long time 5 unit of time as compared to p5 here only one unit of time so we scheduled p3 first कि तुम बहुत देर से इंतजार कर रहे हो चलो तुमको बारी दे दें सीपीयू पे रन करने की एंड आफ्टर दैट एज सुन एस पी थ्री एग्जीक्यूटेड वी हैव एग्जीक्यूटेड पी फाइव जस्ट बिकॉज पी फाइव वॉज अ शॉर्टर प्रोसेस सो द थिंग इज वेन एवर you have more than two processes in ready queue okay let me let me give you the scenario let me give the scenario okay so if suppose we have a ready queue 
let me say if you have a ready queue at time zero at time zero how many processes were there in ready queue only one p1 process arrived do you have any option left apart from p1 which process you will schedule ek hi process hai kya hi algorithm lagana if there is only one process not needed na any algorithm needed not needed right so p1 was only process available so we were not having any problem at all next then after that p1 executed up to three time unit so at three time we will again check at three time we will again check only one process at two time unit p2 arrives remaining all will arrive later so at t two time unit three time unit only p2 will be available in our ready queue do we have any option to select that which process to select no option only single availability so p2 will be executing at three time unit now p2 executes up to nine time unit at nine time we will check how many processes have arrived this arrived at four this arrived at six this arrived at nine so how many processes you will be having in ready queue p3 p4 p5 now i will require the algorithm i will require algorithm yes why just to be cause there are multiple processes in ready queue among those which one i'll have to execute that will be decided based on the algorithm now if but and everything you will have to rectify if p1 process is large and if at p1 execution p2 p3 p4 arrives whenever you have listen whenever you have more than more than one process in ready queue you need to run a an algorithm to decide which which process to execute next but that algorithm will be needed only when you have more than one process available in ready state if you don't have more than one only one process is available nothing happens that process only will be executing next doesn't matter if you are using sjf or fcfs or hrrn whichever algorithm bolo bangdu abhi tak clear hai sab everything is clear till now i have asked a question in last class nobody replied nobody answered you know how to sing kya aapko gana gana aata hai aur maine ye bhi kaha tha i told you that i am not asking that you know how to sing in sur or something perfectly no gana aata hai ki nahi aata ye pucha tha maine chalo isko complete karo jaldi se jaldi se complete karo complete this as soon as possible okay so p1 process completion time is 3 p2 process completion time is 9 p3 process completion time is 13 p4 plus process 20 and p5 15 turn around time turn around time is completion time minus arrival time 3 7 9 14 and 7 what is the waiting time waiting time will be turn around time minus burst time it will be 0 7 minus 6 1 9 minus 4 5 14 minus 5 is 9 and 7 minus 2 is 5 what is average turn around time and average waiting time Average turn around time is ten and twenty one thirty one plus nine forty divided by five eight. Average waiting time ten ten twenty divided by five is equal to four. 
अरे ग्रेट शानदार 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 ग्रेट अमेजिंग गुड 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 फाइन ओके लेट्स गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज नॉट देयर वी हैव अनादर एल्गोरिदम प्रायोरिटी बेस्ड एल्गोरिदम सो इन द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम इट्स ऑलवेज गुड दैट यूजर और मे बी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम कैन डिसाइड द प्रायोरिटी दैट विच प्रोसेस टू बी शेड्यूल्ड नेक्स्ट so that based on that priority the process can be scheduled it will be better why just because operating system can give define this priority based on the processes criticalness that why a process is critical it should be executed first a process is not so critical background process is there any time it can execute so it can be delayed like this operating system can decide that's why this priority based algorithm worked of course everywhere fcfs or maybe sjf doesn't work in any other scenario also so priority based scheduling always works right there is a doctor doctor takes the appointment and whoever makes the appointment first should come first but some members are there who are very close to the doctor maybe family members or something they can directly go to the doctor why just because priority is better in the other scenarios also you can have the same thing right a person if you are playing if you are playing a cricket match right you are playing the cricket match in your whoever comes first to the ground should get the batting first but there is a person who is the captain priority is highest if that fellow comes late also should be batting first or there is a person who is owning the bat and ball so that fellow should get the maximum ball to bat right and will be getting priority for the fielding also nahi nahi main boundary pe fielding nahi karunga main keeping karunga main yahi khada rahunga ball jaye to jaye right happens so nothing hrrn is not having many problems it's really good algorithm but the thing is it uses the burst time and the burst time is not predictable for any process let's say i have run this particular process in front of you to show my ppt you can see this can my cpu predict when i am going to close this particular application no so how exactly how exactly my cpu will decide that this process will have burst time this much no all processes burst time will not be predictable that's why all the processes which are based on the burst time not good enough chalo aage badhte hain priority based algorithm what is the criteria are naam mein pata chal raha hai criteria is priority of the process if two process will have equal priority then it will never occur it will never happen but still if two processes will have equal priority then you can go with fcfs type can be both this particular algorithm can be a preemptive also non preemptive also ab aap bologe sir fir question kaise solve karenge how we will solve the question are babu in the question it will be given that this particular question you will have to solve based on preemptive algorithm or non preemptive algorithm it will always be given okay so preemptive and non preemptive both type will be here it will be given in the question now i am asking a question suppose three processes are there p1 p2 p3 and their priorities are given priorities are 10 15 and 6 can you tell me which process is having higher priority which process is having highest priority can somebody tell me which process is having highest priority answer is you can not give any answer here why just because in the question they will mention either in text or some kind of form that highest number higher priority or lowest number higher priority you can't predict it never there is no any default case ki lower number higher priority or higher number higher priority no default case they will always mention in the question that this number higher priority 
ऑलवेज यस ऑलवेज हमेशा क्वेश्चन में गिवन होएगा सो प्लीज डोंट टेक एनी काइंड ऑफ अजम्पन बाय योर कि छोटे नंबर को हायर प्रायोरिटी मान के कर दिया सर हमारा गलत हो गया गलत इसलिए हो गया क्योंकि क्वेश्चन ही नहीं पढ़ा यू नीड टू रीड द क्वेश्चन अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ प्रायोरिटी कैन बी ऑफ टू टाइप्स डायनामिक एंड स्टैटिक वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट स्टैटिक मीन्स फिक्सड प्रायोरिटी वंस डिसाइडेड कैन नॉट बी चेंज डायनेमिक प्रायोरिटी मीन्स अ प्रोसेस प्रायोरिटी मे बी चेंज मे बी इट कैन इंक्रीज मे मे बी पॉसिबल दैट इट कैन डिक्रीज बेस्ड ऑन द सिनारियो सो ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम मे इंक्रीज द प्रायोरिटी ऑफ अ प्रोसेस मे डिक्रीज डायनेमिक प्रायोरिटी मे इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज There is no any default one. Mostly, whatever the questions we will be having, we'll be using this static as the default one. If there will be any question through which they will be trying to ask you that dynamic priority is there, then you will have information about this. You will have an information about this. Yes, always yes. In the question, it will be mentioned. let's say this one first of all this is arrival time bus time priority you tell me now higher number higher priority or smaller number higher priority given clearly here this 10 is having highest priority means higher number higher priority higher number higher priority okay chalo to pehle non preemptive ke liye bana lete hain Let's try to understand non-preemptive one. Okay, so let me first draw the ready queue. It will be good for you. Time and process. This is my ready queue. My means are a operating system ki hogi ready queue. Meri nahi hogi, but yes, I am drawing here. It's mine. okay now at time zero what process available time zero what process available only one process p1 okay got it let's draw the format gantt chart i am trying to draw the gantt chart for non preemptive okay non preemptive Okay, one quick question: Are you enjoying and learning? Non-preemptive. At time zero, which process to be scheduled? Are only one process is available? Doesn't matter what what its priority is, which algorithm you are using. Only one algorithm, one process. Yes, schedule it now. फ्रिज में अगर एक ही टाइप की आइसक्रीम है और एक ही रखी हुई है तो वही खाओगे ऑप्शन ही नहीं आपके पास और कुछ खाने का बट फ्रिज में अगर चार टाइप की चीजें रखी हैं तो आपको ऑप्शन के लिए एल्गोरिदम लगानी पड़ेगी कि मन क्या कर रहा है खट्टा खाने का मन कर रहा है नहीं नहीं यार ये वाली आइसक्रीम खाने का मन कर रहा है मीठा खाने का मन कर रहा है ये खाने का मन कर रहा है तो एल्गोरिदम लगाओगे सोचोगे राइट इट हैपन्स एवरी टाइम एवरीवेयर ओके फाइन डेफिनेटली ग्रेट थैंक यू ओके सो एट टाइम जीरो यू हैव शेड्यूल प्रोसेस पी इट्स अ नॉन प्रियमटिव वन रिमेंबर सबसे ज्यादा जो गलतियां यहां होती है ना कि प्रायोरिटी को बस टाइम ले लेते हैं लोग प्रायोरिटी को बस टाइम ले लेते हैं लोग राइट सो वॉट एग्जैक्टली यू विल हैव टू डू इज यू विल हैव टू डू इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट प्रायोरिटी इज प्रायोरिटी ओनली फॉर शेड्यूलिंग पर्पज बस टाइम इज एट टिल वॉट टाइम यू आर गोइंग टू रन द प्रोसेस सो यू आर गोइंग टू रन द प्रोसेस अप टू फोर टाइम यूनिट डन नाउ नेक्स्ट at four time unit i'll have to check out what are the processes arrived p1 completed yes p2 arrives at 2 one p3 arrives at 2 and p4 arrives at three time unit and p5 arrives at 
four time unit up to four p2 p3 p4 p5 arrived among these which process having highest priority look at this this one highest p4 schedule p4 schedule p4 one time unit up to five at time five let's see how many processes we are having p2 is still there p3 is still there p5 is still there p6 now among these processes which one having highest priority this one this one this one and this one of course p5 nine okay nine okay so how much is the burst time two so five plus two seven okay great is there any new process arriving no then in their priority order execute all these processes now after this next process is priority seven p6 p6 should be executed priority seven okay burst time six seven plus six 13 after that priority six P3 will be executed for three time unit up to 16 and after that last P2 will be executed with two time unit 18. Up to 18. Look at this if you are getting also the same kind of can chart. If yes, then let's draw the remaining things. Completion time. What is the completion time of P1? 4. P2? 18 p3 16 p4 5 p5 7 p6 13 okay turn around time 4 minus 0 4 18 minus 1 17 16 minus 2 14 5 minus 3 2 7 minus 4 3 13 minus 5 8 turn around time is completion time minus arrival time waiting time which is turn around time minus waiting time or burst time so 4 minus 4 0 no no priority a to a 4 minus 4 17 minus 2 17 minus 2 is 17 minus 2 15 then 14 minus 3, 11, 2 minus 1, 1, 3 minus 2, 1, 8 minus 6, 2. Remaining averages and all you can easily calculate. Average turnaround time and average waiting time. Can you calculate? Of course, it's very easy. Add these all 10, 13, 27 plus 4, 31, 41, 48. Once again, 10 and 20, 30, 41 and 647 divided by 6 whatever it comes can you calculate that average waiting time will be 26 plus 430 divided by 6 5 48 by 6 it should be I guess 48 by 6 8 okay great now let's go for preemptive type of scheduling okay so non preemptive already done non preemptive already done let's go for preemptive type of scheduling this particular preemptive type of scheduling oh, 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 preemptive type of scheduling will definitely be little bit yes little bit of how why just because we will have to check out the priority it's not too tough but little bit tough 
so let me do one thing let me just draw the gain chart on the next page okay why just because we can have a little bit more space here we can manage the priority queue sorry the ready queue also here eg time and process this is ready queue great at time zero at time zero look at this at time zero only one process arrives p1 so p1 arrives schedule it p1 runs for one time unit you know why p1 runs for one time unit just because at one time unit another process comes if another process arrives i'll have to check out that among these two processes, which process is having higher priority? Whichever process will have higher priority should be given for execution no matter what. So we can preempt the running process here? Yes, we can. We can run or we can preempt the running process. So what we will do at time unit 1, we are going to check out two processes P1 and P2. Why? Just because P1 is already there? Yes, P1 is already running. Not completed, huh? not completed and p2 also arrives now you remember i told you one particular thing that when you are going to have a uh, when you are going to have an algorithm which is preemptive one what you will have to do is you will have to have a burst time written separately sabke burst time alag se likh lena why just because if you run a process for half a time, for some time, then remaining burst time will be less. So let me write down all the processes and their burst time separately. Alak se lekh lene ka. 4, 2, 3, 1. 4, 2, 3, 1. Two, 6. Okay. Now listen. One time unit you have run P1 remaining time is three yes at time unit one another process arrives p2 now we have two options p1 and p2 among these you check which is having higher priority p2 p2 having higher priority if p2 having higher priority then p1 will be preempted and p2 will be given pm ko bhagao p1 ko bhagao or p2 ko लेके आओ तो P1 को भगाओ बाहर निकालो और P2 को एग्जीक्यूट करो P2 को एग्जीक्यूट करेंगे P2 को एग्जीक्यूट कर लो भैया P2 विल गेट द CPU P2 विल गेट द CPU फॉर वन मोर टाइम यूनिट रिमेनिंग टाइम बस्ट टाइम इज वन व्हाई जस्ट बिकॉज़ एट टू टाइम यूनिट अनदर प्रोसेस अराइव्स P3 सो वी विल हैव टू हैव अ priority check so time 2 we have already p1 left yes p2 also left and p3 also arrives among these three processes which is having higher priority this one so p3 will be scheduled p2 ka kya kare sir p2 ko bahar kar do p2 ko bahar kar do bahar kar do p2 will go out p2 will go out okay p3 will be scheduled P3 runs for one time unit. Why? Just because remaining time is two. Just because at time three another process arrives P4. So P1 is still remaining not completed. P2 still remaining not completed. P3 also and P4 also arrive. Just check out P1, P2, P3, P4. These four priorities. Which process having higher priority? P4. No doubt it is highest. Suppose zada. So what should we do here? P4 will be given to CPU. P3 ko preempt kar denge kya sir? Kar diya amne already. Up to 4. Complete. Done. End time 4. At time 4, P1 is still remaining. P2 is still remaining. P3 is still remaining. P4 gone. Yes, P5 arrives. How? Aray, check karo na baba. Ye dekho. Ye P5 arrive hota hai re. So P5 arrives at 4, yes. Now we have processes P1, P2, P3, P5. P1, P3, P2 and P5. 5, 5, these and this one. Which is having higher priority, P5. 
so p5 will be given to cpu i will run p5 for one time unit up to 5 the remaining time is 1 and at time 5 another process arrives which is p6 look at this p6 arrives okay so what i'll do i'll write here p1 p2 p3 p5 still remaining and p6 arrives but p6 is not having higher priority than current running process p5 you can see so current running process is still having higher priority keep continue it keep continue it so it will be continued for one more time unit up to six and completed done finish finish after that any new arriving process no remember if no any new arriving process then no forceful preemption Forceful preemption can occur in preemptive algorithms like SRTF or priority algorithms only when we have what? When we have new arriving process. Okay. Fine. So if there is no any new arriving process, run these processes in their priority order. Next is P6 ka priority highest hai. P6 we will run. P6 we will run. Okay. How much time needed for P6? 6 time. 6 plus 6, 12. After that, P3 will run. P5 completed. Yes. P6 completed. Yes. P3 remaining. P3. How much time remaining for that? 2 only. 14. After that, 1 time for P2. Look at this. P2 is having higher priority than P1. Yes. One time for P2, 14, say 15, and then P1 up to 18. Got it? Based on this, now what we can do is we can finish up this particular table quickly. Yes, completion time. Let's draw the completion time. P1 completes at 18. P2 completes at 15, P3 at 14, P4 at 4, P5 at uh, 6, P6 at 12. Let's calculate the turnaround time. 18 minus 0, 15 minus 1, 14 minus 2, 12. 4 minus 3, 1, 6 minus 4, 2, 12 minus 5, 7. Waiting time will be this minus burst time. 14, 12, 12 minus 3, 9, 0, 0, 1. Let's calculate the average waiting time and average turnaround time. Average turnaround time is equal to 32 plus 10, 42, 44 plus 10, 54 by 6. And average waiting time 36 by 6 how much I 16 26 36 by 6 yep so it should be 9 and it should be 6 9 and 6 okay fine check so I guess you all are clear what is non-preemptive priority based scheduling and preemptive priority based scheduling. Remember again I am telling you most of the students while solving the question check the priority for scheduling and take these numbers as burst time. In the number ko burst time le lete hai. So, dhyan rakhiega, aisi galti aap na karein. Otherwise you will say sir silly mistake ho gaya. Silly mistake is nothing but lack of concentration. Okay, I am telling you that this is the very common mistake everybody does. Fine. Now, this priority based algorithm also suffers from starvation. Kaise? If
higher priority processes keep arriving then low priority processes may wait till indefinite time this is called as nothing but starvation higher priority processes aati ja rahi hain aati ja rahi hain aati ja rahi hain aati ja rahi hain and lower priority processes are not getting the cpu that is a starvation and if wherever starvation is there indefinite waiting is there then no fairness at all fairness hai hi nahi fairness tab aati hai jab processes ko zyada wait na karaya jaye no fairness at all who sets priority operating system right ek simple sa question simple sa question you are a kid wants to watch television but you have lots of family members in your house whenever you want to watch movie somebody who is elder than you is watching already the television and holding the remote you are not getting the remote that fellow finishes the television enjoyment and another fellow comes still you are not getting the television remote again it is happening 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 have it keeps continue you will not get the television remote no why just because you are very small kid no priority so what you do you increase your age by whom are by automatic koi chance nahi aapke paas option bhi nahi hai bade bade nahi hone ke alawa so when your age will increase 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 you will become higher priority process at some time yes you will get the remote at some time yes simple so if starvation we will have to solve then what we can do we can decide a solution called as aging umar badhana aging is nothing but a solution name and this particular solution name says that we will decide we will decide a particular a particular time duration that after every 2 unit of time or 4 unit of time or 3 unit of time or 6 unit of time we are going to increase the priority of each waiting process by one jitni bhi waiting processes hain how many whatever the waiting processes we are having we will increase their priority by one after certain duration so if a process is waiting for long time then its priority will increase and will increase and will increase and will increase 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 at some moment it will definitely become the highest priority process and will get the cpu right so what is the solution aging it says that after certain time period or i should say after a predefined time period increase priority of all waiting processes by one so what happens at certain time all those processes which are waiting 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 all those processes will get the cpu why just because they will become certainly at some time highest priority process but is this possible in static priority सोचने की बात है दिस इज पॉइंट ऑफ 
thinking can this aging solution be applied in static priority kind of scenario no so this is applicable only for dynamic priority systems so if any operating system has an implementation that priorities of a process can be dynamic their only operating system can adopt this aging solution otherwise not okay fine till now chaliye to oh ye wapas se ek question aa gaya hai ये क्वेश्चन आपको पता है अब आपको क्या करना है इस क्वेश्चन को एज होमवर्क क्वेश्चन ले लीजिए वंस द टॉपिक फिनिशेस वी विल सॉल्व ऑल दीज होमवर्क क्वेश्चंस हियर लाइव मैं सारे क्वेश्चन लाइव सॉल्व करूंगा आपके साथ में जैसे ही ये पूरे टॉपिक खत्म हो जाएंगे तब नेक्स्ट क्लास विल बी राउंड रॉबिन एंड टुमारो यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न राउंड रॉबिन इन सर्टन डिफरेंट वे इट If you are you are not having any plan to come live tomorrow, you will have to. And all of your friends insist them to come live tomorrow just because tomorrow whatever I am gonna teach you is gonna change your entire perspective about this particular round robin scheduling. This particular scheduling is tough when we have different different arrival times and how to solve the questions. It becomes very very complex. I am telling you, very very complex. And I am telling you, this is gonna be the easiest algorithm you could ever solve once you listen my tomorrow's lecture. So don't miss that. And based on quantum and multiple other things, we are going to judge this particular round robin algorithm. We are always great kind of judge, right? हम किसी को भी जज करने में तो देर नहीं लगाते हैं सर सो वी विल डू दैट ऑल दोज मेंबर्स हु आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन मेंटरशिप प्रोग्राम टुमारो इज द क्वेज इट्स लिंक इज ऑलरेडी पिंड अप इन द मैसेज बॉक्स इन द कमेंट बॉक्स जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दैट एंड click on notify me tomorrow on an academy's platform we will meet 9 am with a quiz quiz will be just 10 questions easy questions will be there don't worry about that questions will be from operating system this week which we have discussed only this week and tree data structure only those two yes and plus 10 questions easy questions only 60 seconds you will be getting for each question but question will be very very easy so don't worry about that that you are going to get failed or you are not going to get correct marks you are going to get the correct marks whoever is going to top in this particular quiz definitely that fellow will be one of the winners or can be one of the winners and next day saturday we will announce the result of the quiz program okay fine so definitely we will meet tomorrow at that particular 9 am time on an academy's platform if you guys want to get the pdf of all these lectures go to this particular an academy gate cs telegram channel and you can get all the pdf after the classroom if anybody wants to join an academy plus or iconic subscription use this code vdeep10 to unlock the free content also plus unlock the 10% discount also plus unlock the mentorship also from my end throughout your preparation master blaster series is going on practice questions 10000 questions across the branches across the subjects curated by top educators so you can practice everything whatever you want to unlock on an academy's platform you will have to go use the code vdeep10 that's it everything can be unlocked using that plus if you want to get the subscription of an academy plus with more discount then there is another chance you have at 30th of may 11 am that is an academy combat this particular combat is a scholarship test in which you will be having 20 questions 60 minute to solve the question if you are in the toppers you will be getting up to 100% scholarship for an academy plus how if you are in the ranker 1 to 3 then you will be getting 100% complimentary one year subscription if your rank is 4 to 10 75% discount 11 to 
50% discount 1151200 25% discount code you will be getting for your earn academy plus subscription you can take the subscription with the discount and you can enjoy your preparation with more and more and more clarity if you are loving the classes here and enjoying the classes here join this particular channel and support it by how whenever you come live here like the session share these sessions and playlist and content of this particular channel with all of your friends so that they also can access the quality learning subscribe the channel if you haven't till now and keep the notification on i will try that your learning will always be continuing and it will be always happy thank you so much for joining live or recorded see you tomorrow till then have a great day ahead bye bye everybody okay there is a question os session regular time session will be there 7 pm session definitely will be there operating system no any bunking tomorrow